In a previous video, we've seen how to set up an instructor's blog for a course. Here, we want to add a link for students to be able to access the blog. So we're going to do that by adding an item to the menu here on the left-hand side. We're going to add a to link to the blogs tool. This will give us a link to all blogs, including the lecturer's blog. So I'm going to give it the generic name blogs and click Submit. It appears here along the left-hand side and we can drag it upwards or downwards if we want to reposition it. So let's see what does this look like from a student perspective. So a student comes in here and can click on the blogs link and they will see that there is a group with a new entry. They click on blogs and they can see the posts that I've made. They can add a comment, so uh, yes, I agree, or whatever they're going to add in terms of their comment. Scrolling down, they can comment on the entry as anonymous. We can change that in our settings if we wish, and click on Add. So now there's one comment to the post. If I switch back to the view as a lecturer, and I'm going to just refresh my screen, And you can go to your blogs in a number of different ways through the blogs feature over here under what's new. I can go through blogs here as well as the instructor and it gives me a list of the blogs. Notice that this is different from students in that as the instructor I can create a blog and I can go into the blog name and you can see that there's one new comment here. I can view the comment and Joe Soap said yes I agree at this time. I can add a comment in response as a lecturer back to the students and indeed all students can add comments to this blog. So we now have set up a blog in which you as the instructor or indeed any instructor on the course can post entries to and then students can view those and also post comments on them. That's it.